Hello everyone, I am Chef Manpreet Singh and uh, today uh, I am going to discuss about Punjabi cuisine. The topic uh, is Punjabi cuisine today. Uh, in this uh, topic, we have to discuss about the different uh, 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 food and culture of Punjab. And uh, yes, uh, their equipment, their uh, local equipment they are using in the Punjabi cuisine and their special ingredients and their special dishes which are uh, prepared in Punjabi cuisine. Okay, as far as the geography and background of uh, uh, Punjabi cuisine is concerned, uh, it is a blend of five rivers that uh, Punjab name has been comprises of, uh, composed of five rivers. Uh, it is a uh, like a, uh, Panj plus A. Panj plus Panj means five and A means river. So it is a blend of five rivers. So that is why it is uh, getting the name of Punjab. And this name, uh, this Punjab name has already been uh, recorded in the Mahabharata epic. Uh, it's a great Hindu epic called Mahabharata in the name of Panchananda. And uh, this is very uh, uh, diverse city, uh, diverse uh, uh, state, and having a vibrant culture over there in Punjab. And Punjab uh, capital is basically a Chandigarh, and uh, of Haryana also is a capital of uh, uh, Chandigarh and uh, Mughalai influences you can see here in uh, in the Punjabi cuisine because Mughal has ruled uh, so many years uh, in, in Punjab for uh, for about so many uh, years in, in, the, in the Punjabi cuisine. In the, so due to that reason uh, this Punjab has a more of Mughalai influence you can see in the food and their gravy has been influenced from the uh, Mughal and their cultural influences are also found here uh, you can see here that uh, tandoor tandoor is not basically originated here in punjab but it has uh, come from different origin it is comes from a uh, arab origin actually it is a muslim uh, influences you can uh, see here the tandoori chicken which we are preparing nowadays uh, in a, in a all around the world or another globe which has been originated in punjab but this uh, tandoor is a mughalai influence actually and as far as the introduction of Punjabi cuisine is concerned, then Punjab is a state which is found on the northern side of India. And it is uh, situated on the bank of Satluj river and uh, this uh, Punjab is very containing a fertile land. So due to fertile, due to these rivers are found here and the flows here in this area. So that is why this land is very much fertile in nature. So that is why the primary job of uh, the Punjabi people is basically agriculture based. And uh, yes, uh, during that period of time when the Mughals were there in Punjab and on that period of time, the Sikhism was not there in the, in the, in the, uh, in the Punjab. And in Punjab, the Sikhism has been originated by Baba Banda Singh Bahadur. And Baba Banda Singh Bahadur was the ardent follower of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. And Guru Gobind Singh Ji was the uh, th tenth Guru of uh, Sikhism. And Sikhism is uh, related to what? Sikhism is a uh, kind of uh, uh, religion which is uh, purely based on uh, Gurmukh Seva and uh, uh, giving, uh, take, giving and taking taking of the uh, uh, love and affection to other people and yes uh, Baba Singh, Banda Singh Bahadur and Guru Gobind Singh Ji both joined the hands together and they have uh, fought against the Mughals uh, due to uh, uh, releasing of those uh, poor farmer of Punjab and they fought against uh, those Mughals and they released those uh, poor farmer from the, uh, uh, from the Mughals. Yes, uh, if you say the glimpse of the cuisine, then uh, one of the main feature of Punjabi cuisine is its diverse range of dishes. Yes, uh, in this uh, Punjabi cuisine, there are different types of dishes has been prepared. So it is containing uh, each and every kind of dishes uh, uh, into into the Punjabi cuisine. Uh, it is containing a, a kind of uh, food which is sweet in nature, which is sour in nature, which is spicy in nature, and it will suit the palate of each and every person in the uh, in the all around the globe and there are many regional dishes which are famous in uh, in some regions only like for example if you say then uh, uh, this uh, uh, ruha ki kheer is basically a sugar cane kheer which is very famous in uh, maja punjab in amritsar punjab and it has been uh, prepared over there from so many years 
and glimpse of uh, Punjabi cuisine is concerned then Punjab has a been a different place that has seen so many cultures here you can see uh, their culture in the in the wedding functions and their in festive occasions also and their lohri and basakhi is uh, a uh, kind of occasion uh, which is basically a very vibrant in nature and you can see their culture and their uh, their eating habits and their uh, 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 punjabi diversity you can see in their weddings as well as their in occasions and their functions one of the silent features of punjabi cuisine is of their diverse range of uh, dishes which can suit every palate in all around the globe yes uh, the style of cooking is concerned in Punjabi cuisine then Punjabi cuisine is basically a cuisine which is having a different style of cookings here. Uh, if you say the Punjabis are fond of eating tandoori food as well as well as they are also preparing a, um, a makki ki roti and sarso, sarso, sarso ka saag which has been prepared overnightly put it on a chula that is uh, basically a, a very slow method of cooking which is known as called braising in uh, culinary term and uh, this uh, cooking methods are very diverse you can found in the uh, Punjabi cuisine. The style of cooking is very much uh, popular in uh, in Punjab in the mainstream of uh, 1947. Uh, after the partition, the cut tandoor and the uh, community tandoor was uh, originated because people, those who were uh, like uh, divided from uh, Pakistan, Punjab, and they have uh, re-established themselves here in India uh, after the partition, after the political disintegrations happened, uh, they have uh, uh, relocated in the Indian uh, uh, Punjab. And uh, but in on an occasions they used to reunite together and they used to uh, uh, lit a fire in a tandoor and they used to eat together. Is that is known as called community tandoor and communal tandoor. Uh, and yes, so the ingredients are concerned in Punjabi cuisine. These are the ingredients which are used in uh, Punjabi cuisine, which is uh, mustard seeds, uh, mustard leaves, that, that is uh, sarso. Sarso leaves are basically known as called uh, um, sarso ka saag, which is very much famous in, uh, in all around the Punjab. Bathua. Bathua is basically an amaranth leaf, uh, which is uh, uh, prepared uh, along with the sarso ka saag. Anardana, Anardana is also known as called pomegranate seed and uh, which will adds uh, ten tanginess and very good flavor to the dishes. And Kanji, yes, Kanji is a kind of uh, beverage which is uh, being uh, drink by people in the in Punjab uh, in the time of uh, after eating food uh, because it is act as a digestive and it is prepared with the help of black carrots. And black carrots are uh, um, found in the market in the month of uh, January till March. Lobia is uh, also known as called black uh, black dye beans, and these black dye beans are used for uh, the preparation of lobia masala, ya rongi masala, which is uh, like tempered. First, we have to boil it, and it will be tempered with ot masala, onion and tomato masala. Okay, chole is a white chickpeas, and which is used for the preparation of pindi chana. Kasuri methi is a kind of uh, uh, fenugreek leaves uh, which are uh, used for the preparation of various dishes like uh, murg methi malai and various other culinary preparations in uh, in punjabi cuisine like uh, butter chicken and uh, uh, paneer makhani and dal makhani amchur amchur is something which is uh, basically a dry mango powder uh, a dry mango powder or raw mangoes we have to take in and we have to peel it off and it should be dried in a sun and then we have to grind it in a fine powder that is called amchur and badia yes it's a kind of dumpling which is being used for the preparation of uh, uh, sabji in punjabi cuisine alu ki vadiya amritsari vadiya are very much famous in all around the globe and they are little bit spicy in nature and mild in nature cholia is a kind of uh, green chickpeas which is uh, being used in uh, cholia masala and cholia can be obtained in the winter season yes and it will be tempered along with the uh, along with ot masala and there are some specialized uh, uh, equipments this is these are basically uh, 
Madhani. Madhani is a centrifugal force which is being used in Punjabi cuisine for the preparation of uh, butter milk and for the preparation of uh, butter, uh, butter also. Chakla Belan uh, in uh, Punjabi and in English it is called uh, rolling pin and the base and this is being used for the preparation of Punjabi uh, breads. Kadhai as you can see here uh, the picture and Kadhai could be used in the preparation of various uh, deep frying and uh, various sabjis are prepared in this kadhai and it is uh, used here in uh, Punjabi cuisine extensively and uh, kadukas is also known as called grater in English and uh, this kadukas is used uh, for grating the various kind of things like we have to grate the carrots uh, with the help of this uh, kadukas and uh, we can prepare the halwa with the help of this and chhanni chhanni is also known as called sever and this sever is used to sieve the flour for you know, removing the impurities from the uh, flour masala dani yes masala dani is a is a kind of uh, equipment which is used in punjabi cuisine and containing a different uh, section in which we have to put the masalas in and now this is a pony pony is a, a kind of a tea strainer which is used to strain out the tea and various other things in a, in a Punjabi cuisine. Kadchi is a kind of ladle and which is being used for the preparation of uh, various culinary preparations in Punjabi cuisine as well as in other cuisines. Tawa in Hindi, in English it is called griddle and this griddle is used for the preparation of uh, makhi roti and uh, misi roti and various other rotis which are uh, very much popular in Punjabi cuisine and we have to prepare on this tawa. Patila in, in, in uh, Punjabi and in English it is called stock pot and this is uh, used for the preparation of various kind of uh, like gravies and uh, other uh, kind of culinary preparations in Punjabi cuisine. Tandoor is uh, one of the most uh, um, significant part of Punjabi cuisine because uh, it plays a very important role. This uh, uh, Many of the Punjabi delicacies has been prepared in this tandoor and this tandoor is uh, run on coal or wooden base and it will provide a very woody or charcoaly flavor to the dish and various kebabs has been prepared and one of the kebab from Punjabi is tandoori chicken and it has been prepared in tandoor. Bhatti is a kind of uh, you can say um, a tabletop uh, uh, um, uh, griller or a kind of uh, sigiri uh, which is being used in Punjabi cuisine for the preparation of various kebabs. Koncha is a um, um, slicer which is uh, in English it is uh, called slicer and uh, this koncha is basically used for uh, for the preparation of uh, various gravies so that the, the gravy would not be stick uh, down to the bottom of the pan. And chimta in, in Punjabi, in English it is called tong and which is used for uh, flipping the various uh, uh, Punjabi uh, breads. Hamam dasta, yes hamam dasta is a kind of uh, equipment which is used for uh, crushing or grinding of various uh, masalas. Dora dandi is a kind of equipment which is of uh, the base would be wooden or sometime uh, stone base but the, the danda should be of uh, wooden and it is used for uh, uh, grinding or pounding chutneys. Whole wheat bread. Now we have to talk about the uh, delicacies of Punjabi cuisine. Whole wheat bread is a bread which is prepared with the help of uh, whole wheat flour and it can be prepared on tawa and it also can be prepared in tandoor. Bajra is a kind of uh, uh, a cereal grain which is extensively uh, used in some areas of Punjab. Uh, which is nearby to Rajasthan and uh, they used to prepare bajre ki roti and sometimes bajre ki khichdi also. Maize flour is uh, extensively used in all around the Punjab and uh, this corn uh, uh, with, uh, is used for the preparation of uh, makki ki roti which is very much popular in all around the globe. Milk and milk products are extensively uh, present in the in the Punjab so that is why they are incorporated in our staple diet on a regular basis. Now we have some uh, delicacies here, list of delicacies of Punjabi cuisine are here. We have to talk about Kadi Pakoda is a kind of dish which is prepared with the help of uh, uh, curd along with some gram flour. We have to mix together and some Punjabi spices should be added for tempering and then Pakoda is a dumpling which we have to fry it and put inside in the uh, flavorful curry. 
and that is rajma rajma is basically a kidney beans and these kidney beans are boiled first and then it should be tempered with the help of oti masala after that we have a ruha ki kheer ruha ki kheer is basically a delicacy from uh, maja punjab and it is uh, having a uh, prepared with the help of rice along with sugar cane juice sugar cane juice ganne ka ras ruha means ganne and ruha ki kheer is prepared with the help of ganne ka ras and sugar cane juice pindi chole is a uh, 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 delicacy from uh, rawal pindi punjab and uh, due to political disintegration the rawal pindi punjab was there in pakistan but this delicacy has been come from that particular region and this is a dry preparation of white chana along with some spices amritsari kulcha is very much famous in all around the globe because it can be stuffed or it can be without stuffed but it should be cooked with refined flour and it should be baked inside in the tandoori oven panj ratni dal is a resemble to the name of the punjab actually because it is containing a five blend of uh, uh, mixture of uh, lentils and it is uh, tempered with uh, uh, garlic and cumin uh, flavors sarso ka saag as we have already discussed about that it is containing a mustard leaves and some other amaranth and other leaves should be blend blended together and boil it and grind it well and tempered with butter or ghee and maa ki dal is a very much uh, 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 famous delicacy of punjab and it is prepared with the help of black gram and uh, Uh, which is like cooked over nightly on a on a chula so that it will provide a smoky flavor to the dal and these are the other some uh, specialties from punjabi cuisine tandoori chicken yes tandoori chicken is cooked in a tandoor whole, the whole night it should be marinated along with the punjabi spices and it should be then cooked inside in the tandoor and uh, murg butter masala is a is a cooking preparation from punjab which is like uh, chicken should be cooked inside in a butter masala gravy and shahi paneer is a paneer which is a very rich in consistency and having a white color gravy malai kofta is a yellowish uh, uh, color gravy along with some uh, dumplings like koftas koftas will be prepared with the help of uh, uh, paneer and paneer will be a very uh, uh, finely minced and uh, tempered with masala and deep fried matar paneer is uh, very much famous in punjab it is basically a uh, is a green peas and along with cottage cheese Alu gobi, alu gobi is a seasonal vegetable, and gobi is uh, available in the market during that period of time. And we have to cut it in a florets, and we have to cook along with alu with some spices. Dahi balle is a uh, uh, roadside eatery, and it is very famous in all around the Punjab, always uh, uh, all around the India also. Balle are basically a dumpling which is prepared with the help of uh, sabut maki dal, and it should be soaked down, and the uh, the outer the skin should be removed out and we have to make a pitti of it and then we have to fry it and then it should be soak inside in the dahi for softening alu vadiya is a kind of sabji which we have already discussed that alu uh, and vadiya we have to cook it together with some punjabi spices dal makhani uh, is a very good uh, delicacy or very important delicacy of punjabi cuisine makhani dal makhani is a is a dish which is uh, overnightly put it on a tandoor and uh, dal should be cooked on a very slow flame which will provide a makhani consistency to the dal and bengan ka bharta yes bengan should be uh, cooked inside in the tandoor or on a bhatti so that it will provide a smoky or charcoal flavor to the dish and it should be tempered with uh, some peas and oti masala Malpue is a sweet dish which is prepared with the help of refined flour batter and it should be then fried inside in the hot oil then uh, uh, immersed inside in the sugar syrup and serve along with the rabadi gajar ka halwa yes gajar ka halwa is a all time favorite for all the people and it is prepared with the help of carrots carrot should be peeled off and grated down and cook uh, or uh, Uh, along with some uh, um, uh, dry fruits and milk and some uh, solidified khoya firni is a kind of dish which is prepared with the help of uh, uh, milk and in this milk we have to put some rice uh, uh, flour into it and cook uh, on a simmering gas till it will turns to be thick in consistency suji ka halwa is a halwa preparation which is prepared with the help of semolina and it should be cooked in a in a ghee and some dry fruits has been added into this 
and pinni yes it is a kind of cake which is prepared with the help of uh, 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 with the help of whole wheat flour and it should be cooked in a uh, in a clarified butter and uh, some uh, kind of dry fruit should be added into it gulab jamun is one of the favorite delicacy of punjab which is prepared with the help of khoya and paneer and it should be dried uh, it should be fried in a hot oil after that immersed in a sugar syrup thank you so much for listening me and uh, i think uh, you will have a greater sight uh, into the punjabi cuisine after uh, listening to or going through with the with the, this uh, uh, ppt and uh, i'm sure uh, uh, you will better understanding of the punjabi cuisine thank you so much uh, for listening